to start we are going to chain 21 21 is our foundation chain and i'm just doing that now one two three four five twenty twenty one i'm done with my 21 chains now this is the foundation chain to begin row one i'm going to chain three one two three and this row one is actually double crochets from beginning till the end i'm going to be doing my first double crochet in the fifth chain from the hook double crochet in the next chain just do a double crochet in each chain till you get to the end of this row if you are not familiar with working double crochet stitches i have a double crochet tutorial on my channel i'm going to link it down below in the description box so feel free to check that out if you want to see in more detail how to do a double crochet stitch I've just finished my row one, row one that is just double crochets. To begin row two, I'm going to chain three and turn the work. Now do nine more double crochets. Do, so do a double crochet in the next nine double crochets. So first one in this next double crochet. Remember the chain three at the beginning of each row counts as the first double crochet of that row. So I'm adding nine so that we'll have 10 double crochets. I have two done, three, four, five, nine, ten. So from the beginning till this point, there are ten double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that I have ten double crochets, I'm going to do a popcorn stitch which is five double crochets done together so just watch how i'm going to do it i'm going to do the first double crochet i'm not going to yarn about do anything i'll go for another double crochet two another double crochet in the same space three another four and then the last one five you, you should have 11 loops on your hook so yarn over and pull through all 11 that is done then you chain one to secure this and now we are going to go into the next double crochet and work double crochet there and double crochet in all the other chain on, in all the other double crochets till we get to the end of this row. Don't forget to do your last double crochet at the top of the chain three we did at the beginning of the previous row. With this we've come to the end of our row two. To begin row three do your chain three which is the first double crochet of that row turn the work now do a double crochet in the next double crochet do six more double crochets one double crochet in each of the next six double crochets total you want to have eight double crochets here and now we do the popcorn stitch again remember five double crochets together Go into the next double crochet now and do your five double crochets together until you have 11 loops on your hook. Four, five. Now I have 11 loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through all. Chain one to secure this. And then you chain one again. Double crochet at the top of the popcorn stitch in the previous row. Chain one again. Skip the next double crochet and do a popcorn stitch in the next double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Now yarn over, pull through all. Chain one to secure that. Now we're going to do a double crochet in the next double crochet. Basically, do a double crochet in each of the double crochet till you get to the end of this row chain 
chain three to begin the next row double crochet in the next double crochet one double crochet in each of the next four double crochets So when you have six double crochets done, don't forget to count the chain three at the beginning as that is your first double crochet of that row. You are then going to do a popcorn stitch in the next double crochet. Chain one to seal your popcorn stitch and then you chain one again, do a double crochet at the top of the popcorn stitch from the previous row, chain one again, double crochet on, the, on top of the double crochet from the previous row, chain one again, double crochet on the top of the next popcorn stitch. chain one again skip the next double crochet and do a popcorn stitch in the next double crochet double crochet in the next double crochet and double crochet in all the other double crochets till you get to the end of this row this is what we have now so begin the next row, chain three. Do three double crochets, one double crochet in each of the next three double crochets. Three. Popcorn stitch in the next double crochet. chain one chain one again at the top of the popcorn stitch you do a double crochet chain one double crochet on top of the double crochet chain one double crochet on top of the next double crochet chain one double crochet on top of the next double crochet chain one double crochet on top of the popcorn stitch chain one Skip the next double crochet and do a popcorn stitch in the next. Chain one to seal that, double crochet in the next, double crochet in the next, double crochet in the next. double crochet in the next so begin the next row chain three and turn the work double crochet in the next double crochet popcorn stitch in the next Chain one, double, skip the next double crochet, double crochet on top of the popcorn stitch, chain one, double crochet on top of the double crochet, chain one, double crochet on top of the next double crochet, chain one, double crochet on top of the next double crochet, chain one, double crochet on top of the next double crochet, chain one, double crochet on top of the next double crochet. chain one double crochet in the popcorn stitch chain one skip the next double crochet and in the next double crochet do a popcorn stitch chain one to seal that 
then you do two double crochets in the last two double crochets this is what we have now row seven chain three and turn your work double crochet in the next double crochet popcorn stitch on top of the popcorn stitch chain one double crochet on top of the double crochet chain one double crochet on top of the double crochet chain one double crochet on top of the double crochet chain one double crochet on top of the double crochet now that we have the popcorn and three double crochets you chain one and do another popcorn stitch here in this double crochet space Chain one, double crochet on top of the next double crochet, chain one, double crochet on top of the next double crochet, chain one, double crochet on top of the next double crochet, chain one and do a popcorn stitch on top of the next popcorn stitch. Now double crochet in the last two double crochets. Here is what we have now. And to go to the next row, the chain three. One, two, three, turn your work. Double crochet in the next double crochet. Popcorn stitch on top of the next popcorn stitch. Chain one, double crochet on top of the next. Chain one again, double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain one, half stitch in the next double crochet. Chain one. To seal that double crochet in the next chain one space double crochet on top of the next on top of the puff stitch and double crochet in the next chain one space so you have three double crochets there puff stitch in the next double crochet Chain one, double crochet on top of the next double crochet. Chain one, double crochet on top of the next double crochet. Chain one, puff stitch on top of the puff stitch. Double crochet in the next double crochet. Double crochet on top of the chain three we did at the beginning of the previous row. And with that we have come to the end of this row. To begin the next row, chain three, turn your work, double crochet in the next double crochet. Double crochet on top of the popcorn stitch double crochet in the chain one space 
then do a popcorn stitch on top of the next double crochet chain one popcorn stitch on top of the next double crochet double crochet in the next chain one space double crochet in the next popcorn stitch double crochet in the next double crochet double crochet in the next double crochet double crochet in the next double crochet double crochet on top of the popcorn stitch double crochet in the next chain one space and now you do a popcorn stitch in the next double crochet chain one popcorn stitch on top of the next double crochet double crochet in the next chain one space double crochet on top of the next popcorn stitch double crochet in, in the next double crochet then do the last double crochet on top of the chain three that we did at the beginning of the previous row we have this now to end this stitch we are going to do one last row of just double crochets so you chain three turn your work double crochet in the next double crochet double crochet in the next double crochet double crochet in the next double crochet double crochet on top of the popcorn stitch double crochet in the chain one space double crochet on top of the popcorn stitch double crochet in the next double crochet double crochet in the next double crochet double crochet in the next and in the next and in the next double crochet in the next double crochet I'm coming when I finish one double crochet in the next double crochet and you do a double crochet on top of the puff stitch double crochet in the chain one space double crochet on top of the puff stitch double crochet double crochet in the next double crochet in the next double crochet in the next and do the last double crochet on top of the chain three we did at the beginning of the previous row and we fasten off because this is the end of the motif now this is a single motif right what it means is that you can do a lot of these squares join them together for your big project maybe a big blanket or a jacket or whatever it is you'd like to make with this i hope you enjoyed this tutorial it just shows like this love it's just like a love motif right i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel down below share this video with your other crochet friends and if you're going to be using this motif to make anything leave me, leave it down in the comments so i know what you're making feel free to also send me pictures of your finished pieces on instagram at hrk crochet hub i'm going to see you in my next video bye